Okay, well, we'll go ahead and get started. Carl Peterson, okay. thanks for joining us, defending champion of the RBC Canadian Open. Obviously, it's got to be a good feeling to come back here, obviously, on the other side of the country, but yet the same tournament, Canada's National Open. Just a few comments on uh, kind of reflecting from last year and kind of how you're feeling as you're heading into the week. Yeah, it's nice to be back uh, as a defending champion. It's a little different since it's not the same golf course, but uh, anytime you've won a tournament and come back, you always get a good vibe. And uh, I look forward to uh, defending my title on a very good golf course. I've played uh, 18 holes today, and uh, I think this golf course is one of the best we've played all year. How, uh, speaking of the <coughs> golf course, how we talked briefly on your way in, how did you find the golf course, and how do you imagine it might set up for your game? Well, the golf course is very good. It's set up like a U.S. Open major style golf course. Um, very demanding off the tee. The rough is up. The greens are small. Um, it's a great golf course. I wish we played more uh, more golf courses like this on tour. And uh, yeah, I feel like my game is pretty good. I've had two weeks off, but I played really good today. And uh, I hope I can uh, have a good defense. Okay. Well, with that, we'll go ahead and <coughs> take a few questions. PGA Tour officials was saying that the uh, the rough here is probably deeper than any PGA Tour event this this year. Would you say that's true based on what you've played? Yeah, um, the rough is up. Uh, it's probably the thickest we've played all year. Uh, I think Aronimic, the rough is pretty thick there a couple of weeks back, and uh, we used to play a thick rough like this um, two three years back all the time. And the tour's kind of gone away from it a little bit, but. Um, I think this golf course sets up well for it. Uh, it's um, you know very challenging off the tee. You got to hit the fairways, and uh, it's just an old style golf course, and it kind of uh, I think it suits it with thick rough. You, you had a hole in one and an eagle last year to Bob Hope. Is that right in the same round? At the Bob Hope? No. I thought I, uh, I read that somewhere. Double eagle somewhere, oh, sorry, no hole in one, yeah. just a just albatross, yeah. Okay. Can you tell me about last year at the Open, for those <coughs> of us who weren't there, you, you finished on Friday thinking you hadn't made the cut? Well, it's borderline if I'd made the cut or not, and um, yeah, it was a, it was a cool weekend, uh, shooting 60 and uh, playing well on Sunday and, and winning the tournament sort of out of the blue, and uh, you know, that could happen, similar thing could happen this week, uh, the way the golf course is set, set up. Um, you could have somebody make the cut on the number and have a hot weekend and, and shoot up the leaderboard. And uh, um, yeah, it was a it was a it was a great feeling winning last year and uh, shooting the 60. But I think I, I look back on last year's the the back nine on Sunday. I made five birdies coming in and uh, felt like I really won the tournament. And the, the comment you made about having enough time to have seven beer waiting to find out yeah. that was it that was a joke. Well, <laughs> sort no. of. <laughs> Carl, uh, did you play here in 05? I did not, no. Oh. No, um, I wish I did. Uh, I didn't know was, the golf course was this good. And uh, um, I think um, I think you will receive good comments from all the players this week. I think the golf course is, is really good. And um, yeah, it's great that it's got a national open on, on this type of golf course. Just Carl, how uh, closely will you be uh, monitoring the weather, given how differently this course plays, wet or dry? <clears throat> well, I'll check the weather a little bit, forecast for the next day. But it's it's uh, you know it's out of my control. It's going to do whatever it's going to do, and uh, hopefully we won't get any much rain. And uh, hopefully we'll have good weather to play in. And uh, yeah, if this if it rains here, it'll play really tough, I think. Do you think the PGA Tour backed off the rough to some degree the last couple of years because of the change in the grooves rule that they thought that would take care of it? Maybe a little bit. I think they wanted to see the flyer come back, like you said, into the into the game. And, uh, uh, you know, I think there's a happy medium there. Some courses need to be set up with thick rough, and some courses don't necessarily need all the thick rough. And um, um, I don't, I don't know why, why it's changed. Like maybe a lot of guys complain that we played thick rough every, every week, but uh, uh, I think it's okay to have it once in a while. It's kind of like they're all trying to figure out 
figure out all of the, you know, the RNA, Augusta National, the USGA, what to do with test you guys because the ball, golf ball's going so far. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't think the groove thing was, has been that big of an issue, really. It's, uh, it's more of a nuisance, you know, changing equipment and stuff like that. I don't think it's changed the way guys play uh, courses or different shots. So, um, I know they've done some research on the difference between, you know, proximity to the hole and stuff like that, and it hasn't changed that much. So uh, I think they thought they might change the, the way people play it, but it's pretty much stayed the same. You said you played good today. Did you keep score? No, no, I just I was happy the way I struck the ball and, uh, you know, the way I hit it, you know. Uh, my swing felt good. And, um, uh, I've had two weeks off, so you never know how you're gonna how you're gonna feel. And uh, but I was happy with the way it, it was. Yeah, it was nice fluid motion. And but you know, in this game, it can all change. You can change. Can you just with Jeff Leishman. Um, pretty much all year. Started working with him at the end of the end of last year. So. Now that's after the, the, the weight loss and the regain. And <coughs> so did, 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 does it help with your swing? Cause you, you yeah, I feel so. Uh, I still haven't played as well as I wanted to this year, but I'm, I'm getting back to how I played in uh, 06, 07, 08, when I played pretty solid out here. And um, just very minor things. He, he, he's been coaching a friend of mine, Tom Gillis, who plays on tour for a lot of years. And uh, he's really improved his game at age 43. So. Uh, yeah, it's just simple things, but it's getting better. Can you just expand on if it rains, you think it'll play tougher? And can you tell us how the greens were holding today, particularly the small <coughs> ones? Well, the greens are still fairly soft. I think they, I believe they had a lot of rain here last week. And um, yeah, you know, if it rains, the rough will play, it becomes very th even more lush and, and thick and tough to get out of. And the course plays longer, tee to green, obviously. and. Uh, I'd love to see this golf course play firm and fast, but uh, I don't know if that's ever the case here. Has has there been anything, I guess, in particular so far this week that's kind of taken you back to, to last year and the success you had in Toronto? Well, it's always nice to be the defending champion. It's a little different since it's a different golf course. And, uh, yeah, it's just nice to come back and uh, see a picture here and there. And uh, it always brings back good memories of, what you did last year, but you know, again, this is a new year, and uh, you know, I want to approach this. I want to try to defend and win, and uh, um, but it's it's always cool to come back somewhere to a tournament you've won. Looking back now, where does that round of 60 stand in your career? Well, it's the lowest score I've shot uh, on tour. Uh, I've actually shot every every number in the 60s on tour. I've shot 60, 61, 62, <laughs> so. Uh, I've been able to go low when I'm on, and uh, yeah, it was an incredible round because I was one over through four when it happened, and um, I never thought there was a 60 out on that golf course, and uh, it just kind of happened, and uh, yeah, it was it was my best round on, on tour ever, so it was a special round. Did you say one over through four? Yeah, yeah. Do you... Uh do you think there's a 60 out on that golf course this week? Yeah, maybe after 14 holes or something. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Carl, we appreciate your time and okay. best of luck this week. Thank you.